Yo, what up, dogs? Welcome back to Gartex Leader Heroes. Last episode, we went over the uh, Merry Clickmas event that's going on right now. Super cool event. Now, we're just going to ascend. All right, let's do the ascension. If you have not, uh, let's see. Buy quick ascension. Get more gold. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Let's do this. We're ascending. Click on this motherfucker. It's going to give me a million dollars. I'm going to go straight down here to... Oh, I can't get a hundred. Well, get that. Oh, well, okay. Now I can get all the way up. So, there you go. Fun times. Let's, okay, let's, while we have that available, let's start up here. Let's just go one at a time. 200 levels. It's fine. You're fucking insane in the membrane right now on damage. So, I have no qualms in just doing the do right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's hopefully we, uh, we catch up to where we need to be soon enough. There you go. Okay, and then, huh? Okay, and huh? Okay, and huh? Alright, now let's do, uh, buy all available upgrades. That's pretty much all of them, right? We're gonna go back up here and minimize all these 200ers right there. Okay. 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 So a couple more 200 guys. Get, mi minimize this. Thank you. Thank you. Just get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Oh shit. Is that silver coinage? It was. Let's get beast right very quick. Get all these guys. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Oh sh Oh, I'm so stupid. I never took it off. We just wasted two minutes right there. I'm so sorry. Wow. Wow. I am a tool. Okay. I I knew I was forgetting something. I didn't know what it was. But I did. There you go. Now I know. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay. Alright. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. We'll, fi we'll figure it out together. And we'll look towards the sunnier weather. But... Like, just on that, though. Like, on level one, look how fucking far we got already. That's fucking insane, right? That's, like, that's unprecedented. I have no idea how the fuck that happened right there. That's some crazy shit right there. Uh, gonna go ahead and get some Dina going up in here. Okay. Alright, good stuff. Uh, toss that Maju down. Toss that Amino Tap down. Okay, Aphrodite's a big one now, because they'll give us uh, Energize, and then after that's going to be Shinotobe. Once again, very important we do those as early as possible, so you can get the uh, Energize Dark Ritual Reload shenanigans happening. Uh, yes, let's go, uh, Aphrodite, there you go, there's Energize, fun times. There you go, Beast Lord, there you go. Oh, oh! There it is. Okay. Just gonna hit reload. Then I'm gonna do this. Fun times. Battle of Blood Race. There we go. Then I can give 100 to uh, Athena. Minimize Athena. And then here we go. This is it. This is our, uh, this is our deal right here. This is, uh, this is what uh, we're working with. Show me what you're working with. Shake that ass. Watch yourself. Uh, shake that ass. Show me how to suck your dick. Here we go. Okay, good times, good times, I'm having a good times here, I'm having a plenty of good times here, um, <laughs> dudes, like, let's, let's, let's check this out one more time, yeah, we got, uh, Berserker, Ancient of Rage, all the way up to, uh, level 30, which means Power Surge is 90 seconds, we got, uh, Energon, Ancient of Battery Life, up to level 30, excuse me, Meaning, uh, metal detector is up to 90 seconds. Awesome. Those are the only two that I care about being, uh, more than 30 seconds. Just because, um... 162 seconds. That's, that's fucking crazy. Um... Uh, but, um... But yeah, that's because, uh, that's because if we ever get these off of a B, they will definitely help out a lot. Uh, the extra 100% gold drop is huge. It's huge. 
And then uh, the power surge is also huge, huge, huge. I think I remember something along the lines of, uh, oh, I think that was pre-transcension. You're able to get an ancient that's called Pluto. And Pluto, it, it increases the amount of, like, percentage you get of, like, monster gold when you golden click. Or maybe it was uh, metal detector. I, I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, look at these bad guys. The tundra, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I enjoyed that. So, yeah, I have all of the ancients now. A bitch. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. We're back in idle mode, it looks like. So, let's start fucking working on people's wieners right here. There you go. Bye bye. Yeah, here we go. 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 Alright. Bye bye. Friends. This guy wants to And we're just waiting on another 100 levels on this guy. Need lots of wieners over here. And it's like lots of wieners over there. Uh, okay. So right now we're ascending for two hero souls. That's a respectable amount, I think. Uh, this is why I wish I had Iris again. Because this, the whole beginning part, just takes fucking forever. If I can even just get, like, the first hundred levels out of the way, I would, I would be so ecstatic. I would just be so ecstatic. But, in, uh, in Dick Cheney's America, there you go. No such nonsense happening right there. Um, so, uh, funny story. I watched uh, War Dogs the other day uh, with Jonah Hill and uh, this random white dude who I don't know from anywhere. Um, I, 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 I might, like, I might have to know him because he might be famous, but at the same time, he's just like a random white dude in a movie uh, who happens to be the main character, so it's like, I don't really, really give a shit about him. But Jonah Hill, though. Jonah Hill's great. Um, it's a movie where uh, two like kids from like Florida like become arms dealers, like for uh, for the military, which is fucking insane. And uh, one of the one of the lines that uh, Jonah Hill just yells out after uh, they successfully elude fucking uh, terrorists who are running back, like like chasing him in Fallujah. Um, they, uh, he just yells out, um, God bless Dick Cheney's America. It's, uh, it's really funny. <laughs> oh, uh, fucking, uh, who else? Uh, Bradley Cooper is in this as well, too. Bradley Cooper's been doing some interesting roles recently, honestly. Like, I love, I love the, I love his, like, the regular roles that he does. Like, the, the one that he's, like, typecast for. Like, those are great. The ones from, like, Hangover. Uh, if you guys don't remember, he was also in uh, Wedding Crashers as well. He was, like, the jerk boyfriend. But, like, like the jerk jock preppy boyfriend that, uh, that Owen Wilson's trying to, like, show his girlfriend. He's, like, he's trying to show the girlfriend that he's kind of a douche. So he can hook up with her. But, um... Uh, but, yeah, all of, like, Bradley Cooper's, like regular roles are totally like cool I, I like him a lot but then he does like these crazy weird ones and I'm just like dude who told you you can act because that motherfucker is a smart motherfucker uh, who knew that this uh, motherfucking like Hollywood pretty boy is also able to like have some really nice acting chops as well and I think part of it is that he, uh, he works with like the same group of people like over and over again whenever he does like serious roles it you know he just gets more like comfortable doing like weird shit um it's because it was like everyone in the movie uh, silver linings playbook and uh, and that other one that just came out it's like, uh, i forget exactly it's like one word it's like uh, I don't know, uh, clouds some shit I don't, like i don't know but uh closer i don't like i don't know it's uh uh, but he did, like, the same, like, another film with, like, the same cast, same crew, same director. Even. And, you know, now he's just picking up, like, small, interesting, weird roles in, like, you know, uh, movie, like, small movies here there. He was, uh, he was a small role. Not small. 
supporting. No, it's not supporting. Like, it really, it's, it's not an under five, and it's not a cameo. It's, uh, he's definitely, like, part of the plot. Uh, but uh, he only shows up in a few scenes. But those scenes are, like, freaking powerful. It's, he's got, like, the same character as, um, as, uh, uh I want to say Tom Hanks, but it's not Tom Hanks. It's, it's uh, uh, in Tropic Thunder, it's the fucking, like, producer guy who's, like, super hairy and fucking angry all the time. Uh, who plays that? It's not Tom Hanks. Tom Cruise, that's what it is. T Tom Cruise's character in, uh... In Tropic Thunder, except not the funny version. It's like the fucking serious and scary version of that. Except, once again, he's not loud and angry all the time. He's just like, he's got that quiet, like, intense, fucking, like, ooh, the power underneath it. It's, it's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting. I, I liked it. I liked uh, his take on this character. His take on it as if someone had done this character before. No, no, no. I liked his... The way he went with his character. Because he could have gone a different way with the character. He totally could have. But um, he chose not to. He chose to go like that. Interesting rap. I, uh, I like this. I like, that. I like this work. It's, uh, it's interesting. A lot of these like Hollywood pretty boy types are now coming out of the woodworks uh, with like serious ass movies. Like the, you know, Bradley Cooper. There's fucking Matthew McConaughey now. Apparently he's doing like serious ass movies now. It's fucking weird as shit. But like, the, you know, what? more power to you. If you're able to do that stuff and you enjoy doing it, that's totally fine. I, uh, I don't know. I guess at a certain point in your acting career, you don't want to be known as the guy who did, like, funny, stupid, weird shit as a pretty boy. And, uh, you know, and you, you want to, like, be known for something more serious. Get an Oscar or some shit. I remember when Jim Carrey wanted to go that route. Uh, for the longest time, he was doing like movie after movie after movie, it was just, like, serious and like, emotional and dramatic and uh, like Oscar-worthy, quote unquote. He was trying to make, uh, he was trying to get an Oscar. That's what it is. He never, never received an Oscar. That man, even though honestly, like it doesn't matter, bro. I, I for some people it does matter, but for Jim Carrey, dude, it doesn't matter to you. Because you were fucking amazing, regardless of uh, fucking what, it, what the academy tells you you are. Here's, here's the thing, okay? Uh, full disclosure, okay? Uh, everyone was, like, going crazy when uh, Robin Williams died. I remember this. They were fucking, like, insane. This is so depressed and shit. And honestly, like, I wasn't, I wasn't in that, that, at that stage. Sure, I was like, oh, shit. He's a really funny dude. Um... Uh, but he hasn't done anything recently. And, you know, who knows? Maybe he could have done something. And I did like some of his like cameos and like TV shows and you know stuff. So I was like, oh, it sucks, man. So, but I wasn't one of those people who were just like literally sobbing because like, oh, this man was in my childhood. Because he wasn't. He wasn't my childhood. I, I remember watching like Doubtfire like one time or like half of one time. And just being like, okay, cool. And I remember. Just like him being made fun of on Family Guy constantly, and I was like, ah, oh yeah, Robin Williams is funny. And I remember seeing him on uh, Whose Lines It Anyway, and he was like really, really funny on Whose Lines It Anyway. I'll tell you that much. I will give him that much. His improv, stand up, really, really funny dude. Uh, I definitely saw uh, Patch Adams uh, once again, like, you know, saw like half of one time, and I was like, alright, whatever. Um, but once again, and I remember after he died, like a lot of my friends started watching some of his like other movies, like some more dramatic ones that are supposed to be like dark comedies, like uh, World Best Dad, and some other stuff. And um, I was like, oh yeah, these are really good. I wish I had seen these in my childhood. That way, this guy would be like uh, you know, very close to me emotionally, but he's not. Uh, but if anything were to ever happen to fucking Jim Carrey. I, that is the one that I would lose my fucking shit in. I, it's going to be so sad because it's going to happen. I'm not going to outlive fucking Jim Carrey. I'm uh, I'm 26 years old. Jim Carrey is like in his what, what, it's like 40s, 50s, 60s. I don't know, man. I don't know how old he is. But uh, I'm not as old as he is. So unless something really terrible happens to me, which I hope it does. Uh, <laughs> just, 
interesting to say. But uh, but unless something terrible happens to me before Jim Carrey dies, then I'm gonna watch and be a part of and experience Jim Carrey's death. That that will fucking ruin me. I guarantee it. Anyways, sorry, I've been rambling on too long. I'm just gonna keep an eye out for all of this uh, shit as it uh, progresses. Honestly, I could probably like go away and like fucking eat a three-course meal and come back and still like be totally fine. But I'll keep an eye on it just in case. Uh, otherwise, so like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we're oh shit, where we're going to um, okay, where we're going to uh, continue back with the uh, Wepwawet. Oh man, it's gonna take fucking forever. All right, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.